What is going on, my dudes? And do that, showing you with Asna Superterium. If you're new around you guys, make sure you subscribe. Daily videos can't go wrong, can you? You know, cannot go wrong. So anyway, getting straight into it. Today we're just gonna have a quick chat about boa constrictor care. Now this actually isn't a boa constrictor, this is a Dumeral's boa, it is not a morph of boa, it's its own separate subspecies. So if you're looking for this kind of boa, it's a Dumeral's boa, not a boa constrictor morph. I have um, kept a lot of boas in the past, um, but now I've only got the, uh, the Dumeral's now. Um, really like keeping these guys, they're, they're absolutely fantastic. They're just as chunky as the bar constrictor, um, but they've got this really cool patination on them. They're not as common as the boas, um, and they've got some slight, uh, some slight husbandry differences. But other than that, guys, they're you know they're very similar snakes. But I'm not going to talk about the care for this today. It is going to be the boa constrictor, the BCI boas, right? Just to be 100% clear on what we are talking about. As always, I will drop a uh, link to a care sheet in the description. <clears throat> All right, but just getting straight into it then, guys. Boa constrictor care. Uh, boa constrictors, they, um, they require a good size... Um, sort of a cage and that is because they do get a good size themselves for an adult boa you're looking up between a 4x2 and a 6x2 um, and then height then you you can do that at your own discretion some people like taller heights height some people like taller enclosures for their boas some people like uh, shorter ones like 2x2s or whatever but that's your own discretion there okay uh, boa constrictors, there's a, a lot of subspecies of BCIs um, and that'll sort of depend on what size BCI you've got. You've got your um, your crawler case, they're about 5 feet maximum uh, sort of size. You've got your hog islands, they're about sort of 6 foot, perhaps a little bit more sometimes in size. You've got your Colombians or your common boas, which are 7 to 8 feet typically perhaps six to eight feet really um you've got your uh there's a few other islands like your pearl island corn island you've got andarukan I i'm trying to not miss any out here um uh, yeah i think that's more or less it sonoran so there's a, there's a few different kinds of uh of bci boas um, and Sonorans, the crawler case, they're the smallest sort of uh, subspecies of the boas. Um, so if you want a smaller boa, then, then those are the ones to look into. But um, there's, there's very little uh, care difference between BCI. So like Hog Islands and Colombians, you, you keep them more or less the same. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's crack on then with the care. These boas, they, they tend to like it quite hot on the hot side, so like 33 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius even. So it's like 92 degrees Fahrenheit approximately on the hot spot. And then you'd cool down to uh, low 80s roughly. Um, no, definitely no cooler than 75, you're going to have real problems. And then your ambient then is going to be around um, you know mid to low 80s then. Yeah, so um, with these then guys, they've got a very slow metabolism. Even as babies, I've seen that some people only feed them ten to four, every 10 to 14 days on a reasonably sized prey item. And I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that. It'll just take a lot longer for your boa to grow. But it's certainly not going to negatively impact the snake's health because they do have extremely slow metabolisms. Um, and that, that goes for the Dumeral's boas as well. These have got really slow metabolisms. So, 
that's um that's that's the sort of regime that I would I'd I'd be inclined to use even for youngsters. Um after the first like two months of them being you know feeding i'd probably uh slow down their feeding and go for every 10 to 14 days but that is completely up to you if you want it to go a little bit faster feeding weekly is not going to um not going to do it too much harm as they grow on a bit then so um you know you're looking like a four foot snake then they definitely would be feeding it every other week um every week would be far too much of that size you could probably do you know 14 to 21 days at around four foot um and then you can either maintain that through then right through when it's an adult um or you could give it a bigger prey item and feed it once a month um and and I, any of those approaches would be would be okay as long as it's getting enough food in the snake uh humidity wise you're looking at about about 60% humidity. Um, I I don't really worry too much about the humidity with uh, with with boa constrictors. I find if I've got a big water water bowl in in the enclosure, I don't need to fuss with it too much. As long as I just give a little spray down when they're shedding, I get perfect sheds and no uh, no issues then with anything at all there. Handling wise they can be very docile but you will get the odd grumpy specimen I find the sonoras and you know the sort of smaller localities they seem to be a bit more nippy and a bit more ready to bite um, But you can you can get tame ones um, Tame even you uh, you can also get you know sort of uh, Grumpy common boas it really does depend on the specimen that you have but you know you're keeping an awesome snake okay um if you can't handle it because it's bitey then perhaps don't get one maybe you know what i mean or buy an adult you know is tame that, that'd be a good route to go down as well um i've had lots of tame um bog constrictors and i've had one or two grumpy ones so in my experience really there are more tame ones than um than grumpy ones as babies though it is worth noting they, they can be quite snappy but they soon grow out of it once you, they realize you're not a threat um, and even you know the tamest adults were probably snappy babies that's, that, that, that's just the way it is with that uh, with boas they, they, they do tend to be quite snappy as a uh, as a new eight. so um, that's just the way it is <laughs> As far as morphs, there's plenty of morphs available. You've got car albinos, sharp albinos, and your thrist stick, type one and type two, hypo, and uh, you've got um, super hypo, obviously. Yeah, there's, there's there's a ton ton of morphs. About I'm not a big morph guy, um, but you know there's plenty of different color phases um, of of your boas for you to choose from. So if that's something you like, then uh, you know. Boas are a good uh, good good choice for you really um, pet or breeder they, they're great As far as them being pets they, they do make fantastic pets um, they, They're normally just as chill as this Dumeral's girl here um, The Dumeral's are a little bit smaller as far as length um, than, than common boas But this is the sort of temperament you can expect from most boas They're really really good Fantastic eaters, I gotta say. Um, it's very rare you'll you'll come across a boa that's not a big eater, and that's normally either because it's got health issues or the husbandry is wrong. Normally, um, it's, it's extremely rare you come across a boa that isn't a good eater. And um, they always say, you know, if you've got a lot of boa pythons and you're wasting a lot of food, you should get a boa because it'll just be a dustbin for you. So, um, you know that. Uh, I think that that statement reigns true um, what else can I talk about then guys um, other than temperament and size really um, there are a few uh, a few things to note with with these sort of snakes um, they, they can have uh, diseases known as like I, ID, I, IBD and stuff like that inclusion body disease and this can be spread to your pythons in your collection not all boas have it um, but a, quite a decent percentage do 
um, and bowers can live an awful long time with IBD without showing any signs they can have a complete full life without developing any symptoms but if that passes on to your python then the python is done for and it'll you know it'll um, succumb to the uh, the disease within a couple of weeks maybe a couple of months but it isn't gonna live very long at all with IBD um, that's pretty much it for today then guys um, if you've enjoyed the, uh, the video obviously make sure you subscribe if you like the video and you made it this far make sure you like the video smash that notifications icon if you're new around here obviously you don't want to be missing any content you've missed too much content as it is um, I'm releasing daily videos as I said earlier if you'd like to know any more about the boas make sure you do your own research um, all my videos are off the cuff as I've said before so um, you know it might it might come across as unorganized and stuff like that but I think it makes makes me and the channel a bit more authentic um, rather than just talking to a, um, a care sheet if you like so um yeah i hope you've enjoyed guys as always uh thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one